The Infected Wolf Spider is the most intimidating enemy you'll currently run into in Grounded. Not only does it look grotesque, it can knock you out in a matter of seconds. While you can conquer it face to face, you can also fully cheese at least one of them. In this video, I'll show you how to safely defeat an Infected Wolf Spider. Before we begin, I want to thank Handsome Ivan, Lyndon Dade, Matthew Campbell, Stephen Van, The Overseer91, and all my other channel members for helping make videos like this possible. Click the join button below or the link in the description to become a channel member today. Thanks again to all my channel members, let's get started. Alright, so today I want to show you how to kill your first infected wolf spider super safely if you are, have not done it before and you don't really want to fight it face to face. I will let you know that honestly fighting a face to face with decent gear, not going to be that hard. If you're not aware, the infected wolf spiders can spawn up here. You might have just saw it walk by. So once you plug the weed killer, which is down in the haze, you have to plug that up with gum. Once you plug that up, the wolf spider that's there will be a wolf spider that spawns up here that will be infected. This one is always an infected wolf spider. And then one of the ones that's by the oak tree, either the one under the leaf or one of the two that's underneath the oak tree can also be an infected wolf spider. And basically, I think they respawn like every two to three days. The other day, I fought both of them. This one, I figured out how to super cheese it. That's what we're going to look at today. The one over here, I fought with a mint mace. I have a level nine mint mace. I had one level nine antlion armor. I don't even think I drank any smoothies for the fight. And I was able to kill it in like five hits or something like that. So like a three hit combo and like two more. Maybe I got lucky on crits, and it, it wasn't really that difficult. I thought it was going to be a lot harder than that. I will say that its attack speed is like double that. It seems like it's double that of the actual wolf spider, so block, perfect blocking on it. It's going to be. It's going to take you a little bit if you feel like you want to fight it, fight it face to face. For the gear we're going to be using, I have on antline armor just so I can shoot the bow faster. Your armor, I mean, that's up to you. We're going to be using a level nine crow crossbow. The higher the bow, the better. It's going to do more damage. The other day when I did it, I used mint arrows. Today I'm going to try the super gas arrows just to see if they work better. 11 mint arrows should be more than enough to kill it, and obviously the super gas arrows, I believe, do more damage. So we're going to try that. I might lure it over with a regular feather arrow just so I don't waste the gas arrows. And if you're not aware to get the gas arrows, you can get those from the green shield bug, which coincidentally is just right next to this. So green shield bug is also super easy to cheese. You can just stand on the fertilizer bag and cheese that. And then for mutations, to be honest, it doesn't really matter. I'm using, I threw on sharpshooter and obviously coup de grass so we can get the crits. The sharpshooter has a chance of just getting it like stuck where it's going to be. Other than that, the rest of this doesn't matter because we're going to be standing in a safe spot. So you might have noticed I built this giant mushroom wall here. The reason I did this was to keep it in so that it actually can't get out to me. This has worked so far. I've not seen it get out of here. And you, I think you can build this out of anything. As long as you don't aggro it, it won't attack the walls. And you can see it. It's way up there on the rocks. Can't, it's not, and maybe it's sensing me. I don't know. It's not putting its legs up. But I built this wall here. So basically what we're going to do is I built stairs over here using the uh, clover roofs here. I'm just going to get on top of this flower pot and we're going to show you how easy it is to cheese this thing. Now it can jump, but if you stand in the right spot, it should not be able to jump up here. So basically what we're going to do is the goal is going to be to just stand up here in this part and not get over here. You do not want to fall down unless you want to fight it face to face. Honestly, just to be safe in case I do fall, what I should probably do is put on mythodatism. So we'll turn off buff lungs just in case we fall down there. I don't think I'm going to, but just in case. And all I'm going to do here is I'm going to shoot it with an arrow. It's close enough now that I can just use the super gas arrows. This should be pretty simple. Now, it will try to jump up here, but hopefully it doesn't jump up uh, far enough. So there's one shot on it. You're going to notice it's going to be down here. We did hit ourselves there with the gas arrow. Maybe we shouldn't use the same super gas arrows. So as long as we don't, as long as we don't let it jump up here, it cannot reach. It may be able to reach up there. Super gas arrows are actually not doing that great. I'm going to switch to the mint arrows and see if they do better. So it's trying its hardest to get up here. But clearly you can see it's not. And now it's getting angry because it can't reach us. It is throwing its little bombs up here. So you want to make sure you avoid those. And it died already. That's how easy it was. So if you want to kill an infected wolf spider, I 100% recommend fighting this one up here. Like I said, you don't have to block it in. But if you want to be safest, you can just build any kind of wall around here and then just build yourself up and you'll be able to fight it. Now, of course, from this thing, all we're going to get is an explosion there. So you want to be careful about that. And then we didn't get the gold card, unfortunately. So that's how you kill your that's how you kill the infected wolf spider. If you found this video helpful, make sure to click the like button and consider subscribing for more videos just like this. If you want to support the channel even more, click the join card on the screen right now. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.